our thinking process is a process of creating mental images. Those mental images look real, but actually they are not real. Therefore, they are illusory. In this sense, all mental images are only mental creations. Mental creations are named in the Buddha's language as Sankara. Sankata is a participle, part participle saying what is created. What we actually think of are thinking of those mental images which are created by the mind. What happened at the enlightenment is the cessation of creating such illusory mental images. This idea is expressed by the Buddha in his first pian of joy after enlightenment. This pian of joy comes in the Jaravagga of the Dhammapada, starting with Aneka Jati Sansara. In the second stanza, Buddha declared that at his enlightenment, creation of mental images came to an end. Therefore, enlightenment means the cessation of creating mental images. The cessation of creating mental images is referred to by the Buddha in the Tensa saying, Visankara Gatan Chitta. Creating mental images cease at my enlightenment. That's what is meant by that. As I mentioned earlier, mental images look real, but actually they are not real, therefore they are illusory. But is real can be detected by an enlightened mind. And seeing the reality is referred to by the Buddha as Yata Bhuta Jnana Dasana, which literally means seeing things as they are. We can see things as they are when our mind is free of thinking. The process of thinking is based on our liking, disliking and ignorance of the reality that I refer to as mental illusions. We think of what we like because we want to perpetuate that present experience. And also, we like to have it even in the unborn future. And that desire for such perpetuation, even in the unborn future, is called Raga in Pali, the Buddha language, which means liking. Disliking is called in the Buddha language as dosa. The ignorance of the reality, that means getting deceived by the illusions called mental images, is called by the Buddha moha. In the Nibbana Sutta, describing what enlightenment 
enlightened mind or the final emancipation realized at the enlightenment. Called Nibbana has been defined by the Buddha as Raga Koyo, Dosa Koyo, Moha Koyo, Idang Muchati Nibbana. That means with the cessation of liking, called Raga, disliking, called Dosa, and ignorance or illusion, called Moha, leads to seeing things as they are. As I mentioned, Jata, Bhuta, Nyaya, Dasana. What is the reality? Realize with such vision. The reality is whatever that is created in our mind is subject to decay and death. That means all creations, whether mental or physical, are dynamic in the motion. The dynamism is the first feature of our mental world as well as our physical world. Buddha has referred to three aspects of the reality called anicchata, dukkata and anatata, called tilakana. Anicchata means dynamism the creativity, activity. Everything is active, dynamic. It's in a motion, in a flux. And that is what is meant by anicchata. With this dynamism, everything is getting changed every moment, instantly. And that change from one state to another state of everything mental and physical is called Dukkata, the second aspect of the reality that enlightened mind can experience and realize. The third aspect of our unenlightened mind is Moha, ignorance of the reality. Enlightened means the complete cessation of that ignorance of reality. Thereafter, an enlightened mind is made faced with the reality. Reality is beyond the mental images, illusory mental images. That is the stage of a pure mind. Mind empty of mental images. Therefore, Nibbana is referred to by the Buddha as sunyata, meaning void, emptiness. What is meant by emptiness or void is the emptiness of, of mental images that the mind is occupied with when we are not enlightened. As everything is getting changed, that means dukkata, dukkata, nothing mental or physical can retain a permanent identity. And that is called anatata, non retainability of a permanent identity in the mental world or in the physical world. Although we see things and beings in the physical world, it, the reality is they are only mental images created in our mind. They are like reflections created inside the mirror. They are created by 
thought forms. Every thought is created by electrical spark, electrical spark of the mind. They are called chittakana, mental sparks that appear to disappear instantly. Therefore, whatever that appears to be real due to the process of such path called thoughts, the actual reality is there is nothing real either in the physical world or in the mental world. This truth has been realized physically by the great philosophers who lived in the 5th century BC in Greece. For example, the Greek philosopher called Heraclitus, who lived in the 5th century BC, said, referring to the process of changes in the physical world, he said, no one can step into the same river twice. When the river is flowing, when you step into it once, and when you try to step into the second time, the river that you step into the first time has gone down. A new river has come in. So is everything mental and physical. Constantly change, instantly change, retaining nothing permanent. Once you realize this reality of our mental world and the physical world, attachment to things that are present ceases. Resentment of things and present to ceases. That happens with cessation of the ignorance of the reality. That is why realization of the reality of things and beings by enlightenment is called cessation of liking, disliking and ignorance. In Buddha's language, as found in the Nibbana Sutta, the enlightened mind, but whatever the enlightened mind, the reality realized the enlightened mind called Nibbana is devoid of liking, disliking and ignorance. In Buddha's language, in the Nibbana Sutta, Buddha said, define Nibbana. Say, Raga koyo, dosa koyo, moha koyo, idang uchyat nibbana. It means Raga koyo, cessation of attachment. Dosa koyo, cessation of resentment. Moha koyo, cessation of ignorance, deception by delusions. That is the state of an enlightened mind free of illusory mental images. Nibbana, what we realize at enlightenment, is a white or empty mind, free of all mental images called Sankara. That is why Buddha said in his first, first period of joy after enlightenment, that at, at his enlightenment we realize a state of mind free of mental images. In Buddhist language, Visankara Gatan Chitta. That is what happened in enlightenment. Sishen of creating mental images. That is enlightenment. 